Taken the pastry out of the oven, it's been blind baked. You can see it's kept its shape fairly well. It did collapse a little bit on that side and I've just uh, pushed it back in because it's still soft, it's not fully baked. I have taken the rice out, letting it cool before I put it back in my plastic rice container. So, I now have to do the filling. I have two whole eggs and two additional egg yolks in here. I'm actually doubling what your recipe says because I'm making a big one. So you put the, uh, the two egg whites from the extra two uh, eggs off to the side somewhere and yes. make meringue out of and them. and later, later I can make meringue from those egg whites. Never throw it out, you can always use it for something. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk these, whisk these well. And to this, I'm going to add a cup of cream, and that's not thick and cream, it's pure cream, and a cup of milk. So that's the creamy bind in the milk in the mm -hmm. uh, sort of run. Very nice and coffee too, by the way. Mm -hmm. And to, into that, I'm going to just put a little bit of salt for flavour. That would be a pinch of salt, is that? Yes, because uh... I did a double quantity there. Mm -hmm. and, and a little bit of white pepper. If you don't have white pepper. Should you use black pepper? Yes, or yes, you can always do that. White pepper is extremely fine, isn't it? It is. It is yeah. Now, I'm going to use a jug for two reasons. First of all, I'm going to strain the egg through there. Remember, you when you made your creme caramels, you had to strain the sweet custard in there. Well, this is a savoury custard. And you can see the threads that are left behind in there. Just, mm. That's why we do it, so we don't have that uh, in the way. And if you can, do a reverse flush of that straight away so it doesn't set in your uh, fine strainer. Now, I'm going to now add, before I add this to my um, flan here, I'm going to fix up my spinach. I cooked this spinach ahead of time. I sweated it, which means I put, I washed the spinach I put it in a saucepan with the lid on, no extra water except from what it was washed in, and then I um, sweated it until it wilted. But so, so you've turned the, the hot but, top on? Yep. Cooked top on for a little bit, just... Yep. So right. I've pre-done that, and I'm just squeezing the extra water out, which happens from, from this. And now I'm just going to spread it right around the base. Now I've used baby spinach here, but you can use silver beet spinach. You're just going to use the um, white stems. Mm -hmm. And if they're really struck, start getting it, can you use the frozen spinach as well? You could, and, and it, it does this. Exactly what this has done, it's um, frozen spinach does exactly the same. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So I'm also going to put my cheese on. Now the cheese you um, put on is uh, Gruyere, you buy it in a block and you grate your Gruyere, it's a Swiss cheese that you grate and you um, put it on top. I actually couldn't get Gruyere, I had to get um, the Dutch Gouda, they didn't have any Gruyere in the shops. Okay, so if you're struggling any cheese will do but the Gruyere mm. has a, a nice flavour. Yes, I tried to get one that was fairly close, being a Dutch cheese, that's not far from, um, from Switzerland. Uh, Quiche Lorraine, the province of Lorraine in um, in France, is very close to Switzerland and mm -hmm. Germany. We want and to talk that's about the Swiss. Would, and so yeah. Quiche Florentine is a um, version of that. Mm, it's got a, quite a smell, like a, mm. it's a what is it? The um, what's the word you'd use that? Piquant. Piquant. That's your uh, French lessons coming uh, in handy, is it? Yes. I have studied both French and I have studied Latin in my past, and I'm currently trying to pick up my French again. So after classy, so so classy. And a little bit of nutmeg, like us. A little bit of nutmeg on top. Mm -hmm. I haven't used all the um, custard up. That's okay. I can use for something else because it you know, shrank a little bit here. Mm. I couldn't quite fill it up totally. It would have you been don't want it to run. everywhere. Yeah. So now you can get shorter pans but they don't give you much filling at all and they're better for doing a pecan pie or something. They have fluted pans mm -hmm. with loose bottoms 
uh, but the deeper, deeper the pan, the better for your quiche. So this is going to go in the oven now, and it's going to take possibly 35 to 40 minutes to bake. So it's keeping the same temperature that we uh, blind baked? No, 185, or 165 in a fan force, 165 to 170 in a fan forced oven. 185 then, if they're not fan forced? Yes. And then in we go, in the oven. And somebody's going to have a nice dinner tonight. 